Hey my friends Jean-Serge Gagnon here so you want to create a course and you don't want to spend any money doing it right so you can certainly do that in 2020 it's not complicated to create a course and host it online on all the different social media platforms the different things you can do to have it for free and there's lots of different things you can do and it really depends on what you're trying to accomplish with that right so for example if you're trying to get some leads if you're trying to generate uh, some some fans if you're trying to get people to know you that's a great idea and we're going to talk about you know what is it what is a course really online about what do you want to focus on what are the things you want to do to make sure that your course is something that people will actually be interested in and how do you do it so that it's free so you don't have to spend a dime hosting it or publishing it or getting people to go to it right so we're going to talk about that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets all right so hosting a course online is not very complicated there's lots of different solutions different options you can have out there and we're just going to talk about the really really basic way of doing it we're not going to get into complicated things or complicated hosting sites we're just going to talk about the basics of what you need to do so let's just actually you know what I'm going to share my screen I'm going to uh, do a a very simple uh just a word a notepad here just load up notepad notepad there we go and let's just share the screen share my screen uh whoops that should not be there I'm sorry about that let's turn that off okay so in, this is just a notepad let me just see where I can make this visible to you all right I got a Jenkins server there in the background notepad there we go all right so we have the notepad let's just uh there we go all right so so cre okay so f creating a free course so creating a whoops creating a free just do this a free course and hosting it for free now oh by the way it doesn't have to be free course a free let's just do that let's free or paid course and hosting it for free so it's the hosting it for free that we're talking about today I'm going to talk about in 2020 right so you're going to create a free free or a paid course you can have a paid course we're not necessarily going to go into the details of how to get people to pay you and all that but the idea is you want to host it for free so the first thing you want to do is you want to you want to figure out uh well you hopefully you already know this you already have the content but you really want to have a good title so you need you need you need a good title now if you're going to be making it free uh well like I said whether it's free or not I guess that doesn't really matter but there's lots of things you can you want to worry about or maybe that you're going to consider about your course which is the title you know the title itself is going to be used in SEO if if you are using um the content to um to um and you know get people to come to it or maybe have the 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 search engines show it when people are looking for it so you know you're you like one of the good titles with some of the um marketers that I I've been following and the things I've been doing is one of the things you want to do is this you want to have maybe a title like this how to x without x right so for example you could say how to lose weight without worrying about calories or how to uh you know lose that belly fat with that you know without um like I said we fall <laughs> keeping track of calories or uh how to eat carbs and still lose weight without x right so you kind of have a title like this because people are going to be searching for your thing online so anyways that's a separate thing the other thing is you want to uh you need to define so define your course um outline right your course outline and lessons so you want to have 
you know you kind of an idea of what your course is about because normally just like any other English uh, content or you know uh, language if you will any language doesn't matter you're always going to have an introduction you're going to have a content then you can have a conclusion right if you remember your 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 schooling <laughs> the introduction is basically telling people what this is all about so you're going to have an introduction lesson that you're going to introduce yourself maybe you're going to talk about what the course is about what you're hoping they will achieve in that course that's your introduction and then you're going to have your content your content can be two three it probably should be three to five short videos it could be five minutes it could be 15 minutes each really depends on the kind of content you're trying to accomplish but the shorter the better because if it's too long people don't tend to listen to it as much right and then the conclusion is basically something that you're telling them what you just told talk taught them what you just ex expect that they're getting it's basically a revamp of what it is right and that becomes your course uh, curriculum if you will right your course outline so um basically so you need that right you need that now what are you going to do with it you're going to host it on a free hosting platform all the platforms out there they don't all like course creation platforms don't all allow for free uh free setup um clicky course of course does that's the my platform but the thing is that you still need to host the videos somewhere so if you're going to host the videos you want to host videos on YouTube oops on YouTube uh Facebook at Facebook whoops face face book as public videos or Vimeo now there's other platforms out there that support that too again this has to be public video uh because if you're going to be hosting it someplace that you're not necessarily going to tell people about you want to make sure that they um then the thing with Facebook that's one of the differences with Facebook you can't you can't use Facebook hosting without making it public otherwise you won't be able to use it elsewhere right you won't be able to use it in your blog you won't be able to use it in an email you won't be able to use it in um in in uh, in a capture page anything like that right so you want to make sure that it's a public video and that thing and that kind of defeats the purpose of not letting people access the video unless you send them the link right so you can't do that with Facebook that much so you really want to use YouTube or Vimeo probably I I find you YouTube's the easiest one and uh, that's kind of where I I've hosted my courses before when I first started right so um okay so that's that's where you host your videos then of course you're going to need to have a some way of sending them the information right so you can probably have a blog you can use a blog like just like free wordpress wordpress right uh, or an email send an email out now the other thing that's uh, cool now is that there's a uh, Aweber has a free plan now you can actually have a free account with Aweber that will you can start to use and if you start to get some income whatever then of course you're gonna want to upgrade if you're not making any money you're not gonna upgrade so that's that's fine right but it doesn't cost you anything and you can use Aweber to send people emails whenever they ask about the course you can even create a capture page on Aweber directly to get people to um to you know put their email in to get your course right because you want to have you you want to minimize how much work it takes you to to get people on your course right but the thing is that if you're going to uh if you're going to uh, just send it yourself like for example maybe you're posting in a Facebook group you're saying hey I'm starting this course I just want to know who's interested in learning x right and I'll send you the link and then you can just send them an email you just say hey can I get your email or you can just send them a message on Facebook with link a link to some page where you have the course right laid out so if you're using a blog like WordPress or any other kind of blogging platform and and yes by the way Clicky course has a free WordPress uh, setup that you can use um so I'm not going to try to push all that in this video but I just want you to know that there that's an option that's out there and you can look it up right uh, but the thing is that you need a place to host your video so let's just say let me just show you my my uh, if I have for example let's say I have these TikTok little videos I did these are public but they could be unlisted right you could have them as unlisted uh, cancel 
so right now they're all public but you could have them all unlisted you have a bunch of different little videos short little videos see two minutes five minutes three minutes right and you can use those in your in a in a, a wordpress page so let's say for example I go to wordpress wordpress.com uh I actually have an, I already have an account so it's probably gonna log me in so let's just use a incognito window if you go to wordpress.com you can set up a free account there now the only thing with that is if you set up a free account there you're not going to be able to use a domain so that might be okay it'll be something like uh, you know like me I have success with js.wordpress.com because I set that up a long time ago have a success with oops js oops js so that's just I had I set that up oh it doesn't exist really success oh I'm missing an s success success with js.wordpress.com so basically that's just the page that redistributes my other blog posts but you can set up that like yourself you can just go here and you can actually go to uh, to wordpress.com and set up your own account obviously I would like you to use Click eCourse so maybe I'll just show you that you go to clickycourse.com uh here let me just uh, do that Click eCourse so you go to clickecourse.com and then you just uh set up an account let's just register <clears throat> I'm going to use uh so let's say CIS this is 187 I think at okay so I'm just registering a fake account here uh, but you would obviously use your proper account it'll send an email to your email and then after that you activate your account I'm actually going to go and check that out over here uh, let's see I got my gmail account right over here I'm going to have this in my email in here and let's refresh I got a whole bunch of junk email all the time right but this is my activation I'm just going to open this in incognito and now I'm activated my accounts activated as you can see I just click on this and I have my account now right so now I have an account on Click eCourse and I can just go to my profile can you see that I don't think you can right let me just uh, go back to here I think it's a little too small let's just make this fit the screen so there's the account it's still too small let's go like this and there we go there we go okay so on click of course you're going to see uh, down up the top here you're going to have your little uh profile you can of course set your profile but here you're going to go and you're just going to go to the blog right here and then you can just say uh, whatever title you want and you give it a, you, an admin and you give it a password and it, you can use it a different user here you can use a different user here I can say uh, cis187 or whatever your name is right so then it just activates your blog and then after that you can create a page on your wordpress and we're just going to do that right now just really quick we're going to create a, a page that would be basically a free course right so now I just go to uh, my blog and I log in and now this is my dashboard so wordpress dashboard you can look up how to how to manage wordpress yeah, there's there's obviously there's there's plugins and all this other stuff we're not going to cover that right now but if you go to for example posts or actually pages in this case it's a page I want a course right it's a new course I'm going to create a new page I'm going to say uh I'm just going to call it whatever I'm going to say this is course uh you can just go through this stuff but I'll just close it I'm going to say free wait whoops free obviously well actually let's do do this right so how to lose 20 pounds in 20 days without counting 
calories so that'd be the title right then I'm going to say over here I'm going to say you know welcome welcome blah 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 right and I'm going to add a video here I'm going to say introduction in whoops in introduction right I'm going to say introduction I'm just going to go to the YouTube videos I have over here let's just say it doesn't really it's obviously this is not this is not right uh it's not going to be this but I'm going to put that here it, obviously it has to be the right video it's not going to be this and then I'm going to say lesson one right lesson one I'm going to put another video here a different one get shareable link so as you can see all I'm doing here is I'm just creating a page and I'm going to say lesson lesson two and I'm just going to put another link another video of, uh, again like I said it's definitely not, this is not this is not a real course that I'm putting together here I'm just kind of showing you how you can have you know text in here and you can have the different videos and uh, this is going to be how to you know keep uh how to eat better and maybe the introduction and then maybe lesson two is going to be how to um, lower your cravings right um and then maybe you have a lesson three that's something else right but anyways that's basically the basic idea you got a you got a free setup here I'm going to just publish this publish uh, the page and now when I go back here I can access my blog and I can send people to this page right the page actually let's go back to here what's it called the link the view the page copy link and then if I go to the blog and I go to that page now I have a, a page right this is the course this this is the page you can send that to people this link up here uh you can fix it so that it shows uh let's actually do that I'm going to go back to the settings and I'm going to go to settings uh the permalinks and I'm going to set that to to post name because that's better for SEO right if I go save that I go back to my pages how to lose pound over here I can go in here and I can actually use the uh, where is it permalink right here copy let's just do that this now this is the page I can send see how the how the URL now has how to lose 20 pounds in 20 days right and this is like I said it's a it's a free location where you can host your own course right here and then you can send that to people by just telling them the link you can just say hey this is the link and just paste it in the Facebook message or in a, an email or anything like that that's the so that's hosting it obviously you would you need to have a YouTube channel with YouTube links that you can use like I have here and uh, and then that allows you to host a free thing like this now you can do that on pretty much any WordPress site any WordPress hosting site to just have a WordPress page like this if you want um there's there's obviously lots of other things you can do to improve this like for example see how it says blog.clickycourse.com cis187 and then how to lose you can change that to a custom url if you go over here and then you just uh, upgrade your plan you can actually set the domain on your on your host the same thing as you would with wordpress.com or wordpress.org I guess it is where you you can't you have your own name dot whatever right it's not this it's like this is a similar right um okay so that's that's the just the course now what about Aweber like if you go to um let's just do do I have it here I don't have I actually should have another one here Aweber link. Mm -hmm. so HTTP Aweber there we go is it there uh, this one is too big let's make it smaller So if you actually go to Aweber, oh look at that, I got it wrong. Settings. I'm missing. Oh no, okay. That's weird. Why is he not showing me the M? <laughs> Interesting. Okay, anyways, if you go to aweber.johnsurfgamo.com, 
aweber let's go and edit this again um let me actually change the um the color and the background I'm gonna make it more whoops let's get white and make it opaque there we go okay so this is oh yeah there you go so now it's got the com on it so if you go to aweber.johnsearchgangle.com we're just going to do that right now all right that will take you to the aweber uh and you can use you can try it for free right they get aweber free you just click on that and then you just put your name and email and you sign up you get a free account for aweber what does aweber let you do uh, well it lets you do an email so you can for example go in here let's just uh, get that out of there hold on where is it there we go so we're going to make this a little bit smaller so with aweber you can set up things like this like I have automation emails but what you can do is you're going to go in here under manage lists oh I should probably make this uh, let me log in okay I just want to make sure I have this right hold on up here we don't need to see any of this right okay so in here you would just now when you first set up of course you're not going to have but you're going to want to create a list let's call it a uh, free course on my company name all that's all good um defender is fine that's the default the list is going to be free course free free weight loss course right uh this is the this is the free course list the free course on how to lose weight right so you put a description there because if somebody ever unsubscribes you want them to see what they're unsubscribing to right so you click on next step and I'm just I just leave that as is and then what but then what you want to do is you want to have a message in here I want to create a new message and it's just going to be a message and give them the link to the page where the course is so we're just gonna we're just waiting for it to load up here after the message is created just uh, give it a second here there you go uh so uh in this is going to be the first message once they subscribe to the list they get this message I'm going to say welcome to the weight loss course uh and I'm going to say I'm I'm so excited for you you'll love this quick and easy course to get you on the right track so whatever text obviously uh you can access the course you oops you can access the course at and then in here we're going to put the link to the course right so the link to the course where is it it's over here uh, I've got it over here this is it here no it's this one here this is the course right here and then I'm going to go back to there I'm put it in here and that's that's the course now obviously you can make the email nicer you can add things to it all this stuff we're, just, we're not going to worry about that right now we're just going to do this save and exit let's actually move this over to here so you can see it there so whenever you're editing you're going to have this well maybe I should put it up here there so you have this like this so you're going to have this save and exit right there just save and exit right here and then this is the first message in this it, it goes shows up in the drafts so you just go here send options you're going to say add to follow-up series and then this is going to be follow-up number one uh, add to follow-up series that's good I want that now it's going to have this message to now you have your message of course you can have other messages and all that so what we're going to do now is you want to have a capture page right so let's do a sign up form and let's just create a create a sign up form and this is just going to be a page that you're going to be able to send to people let's just say I want to I don't know just a 
it doesn't really matter there's different options let's go for diagonal or template I'm going to say in here I'm going to put some text uh, how to lose 20 pounds in 20 days without worrying about calories right so where are we gonna save it there we go uh, and just uh, or actually let's just say enter your email for free access save it there we go whoops there you go I don't know if there's obviously we want to make this a bigger font let's just make this 15. no I think I have to do the whole thing I want it to be bigger than this 24. ah there we go there we go okay so obvious again obviously I'm not going into making it all pretty anything like that but now I have a save your form and I want to go to step two and basic settings once they've uh thank you page that's fine that's fine save your form go to step three and I will install my form my web designer use form as landing page so now you can have this as a page you send to people let's just go back here I want to show you what that looks like so now if I go here and I and you just send people to this you just instead of giving them the course give them this that way they'll have to put their name bob tester my email is going to be bob test loss weight loss at and I'm going to do that I'm going to submit this and now I'm added to this obviously uh, again you can change the 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 this this welcome page you know it says you know, I've been sent a confirmation link make sure you go in there so now if I go to my email I ref I reload my email uh, did I not go back to here now I reload my email Bob confirm your subscription right I get that I just click on this confirm my subscription I'm going to open that in the incognito I don't want it in my regular and then your subscription has been confirmed and now when I look at my inbox I should have received that free course email it should be pretty quick I don't know how fast it'll come but there you go welcome to weight loss course and then this is the email that we put together and this is the link to the course and now I can access the course right so that's that's a very quick and dirty way of creating a free course there's lots of things obviously you can't do with a free course but at least it's a start and this is how you do it it's very simple like I said and you uh this is not a, a you know this is not a weight loss course or these are TikTok videos whatever but the point is that you, to create a free course you can do that with these mechanisms with something like Aweber something like uh, click eCourse let's just put the link back here uh you know Aweber the click eCourse link whoops wrong one click eCourse.com where you can actually get your free account to set up an Aweber on there and you want to go to YouTube to create your YouTube account there that's pretty straightforward there's lots of you can just Google if you're not sure how to do that and uh and yeah so that's it hopefully you enjoyed this and if you have any questions reach out I'm here to help and we'll see you in the next episode this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom some of your friends need to hear this message so don't forget to share for more content like this go to courseincomesecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon until next time